Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Insane Difficulty on Sword of the Stars of the Pit. I'm going to pick the Marine, or the Soldier, um, because he has the best initial chance of survival on Insane. Now his advantage dies pretty quick, floor 2 or 3, I, I should say floor 3, because while he can survive initially because he starts out with this blade instead of a knife, and the other two Jaegers only start with a knife, and you need to save your bullets on this floor, the issue is he's got the lowest brains of the group and the lowest finesse. He starts out with 45 finesse and 30 brains and everybody else starts out with higher than that. And finesse and brains are used for your skills, for your support skills. Foraging specifically, biotech, which is cooking, um, he can't find shit. He can't unlock doors. He can't pry open fucking lockers. He sucks at everything except fighting. So you have to really power level him in the brains department until about, I don't know, 60. And then throw some finesse down. Um, you need about 60 finesse to use the energy weapons effectively, and you might not find any for a while, but you never know, because on insane difficulty here, they really spam the, um, the loot drop system is spammed, the monsters are spammed. Um, enemies you're not supposed to encounter right away, you'll encounter. And, for instance, um, these bats you can encounter on 4-1, but you see they up like, it's like triple the amount of bats, I think, that you find. And I want to say that they drop the EXP they give you, but since they up the amount of enemies you find, it's, it's really inconsequential. Um, you level up uh, pretty quick, but at the same time, the um, danger level, I guess you can call it, you, that escalates much faster than your levels do. As a matter of fact, even on floor one, the game can start you in an unwinnable situation. Um, if, if, if these, like, tanks spawn, which they can spawn, like um, artillery tank mark ones, they can spawn on floor one. They're not supposed to spawn. Like, if you play on easy mode, they won't spawn until, I don't know, floor ten. But here, man, they could spawn here, floor one. And you're not really equipped for them. You have one or two grenades, and that's about it. Um and these bone slivers and things I'm picking up. Like, his salvaging efforts, like, I'm not grabbing the loot piles, the, the vomit piles right away, because I want to level up first. And strategically, if you level up, you heal all your hit points. So, there you go. See, now my hit points are healed. So, I gotta go right away to foraging and traps, I suppose, because he needs to identify traps. And now I only have, I got no points left. But he starts, he does have three stat points to allocate. But he has the fewest skill points to allocate, if that makes any sense. The female scout is kind of in the middle, and the engineer has... Now, the female scout has the fewest um, attribute score. She gets one per level, but she gets six points to allocate for skills. And the engineer is two and four. So, it, it's kind of a... I prefer the engineer. Oh, there it is. See that tank? This can go really poorly if you are anyone but the soldier. This is what I was talking about. Um, see how much? See how many ammo? Like I have an assault rifle, a triple shot assault rifle, and without that weapon, you know, exchanging pepper shots with a pistol back and forth on that thing, it, it, it fires three times at you. So you need the firepower. Now, you can get lucky and they won't spawn. So you say, well, insane difficulty, maybe it won't spawn. Yeah, maybe it won't spawn. But it can. And there's an achievement to unlock insane, like to beat the game on insane with all three characters, and I really don't see how that's possible. Unless the game is extremely lucky in giving you a crap ton of stuff. Here, I'm doing pretty good. You know, searching. I did up my foraging skills, and every time you successfully use it, you forage, and it, it upgrades for now. See, foraging skill level up. So, now I'm 75%. But, oh, failed. And it didn't train my foraging. Actually, I think it trains it by a small amount when you fail, but when you succeed, it's much better. Um, so, I waited until I got level 2 before I started doing these piles, just so I could give myself a little... See that up there, foraging? Um, anyway, um, this isn't going to take too long. Uh, the first level was pretty brief. You can spam your melee combat by punching all those overhangs, those doorways, but I'm not going to. Um, now I'm just searching around for more vomit piles. See if I left any out. Um, I should have marked down where they were, but <laughs> whatever, right? Anyway, I know this is 
isn't as exciting because I'm not explaining a whole lot. But spoiler alert, this is going to be my next game on We Can Win This, so I'll do a lot more explaining on that uh, episode. Right now, I just want to see if I can actually play this. Hopefully, get to level 10 before I die. Who knows? Who knows anything, right? Anyway, I'm sorry there's no volume. I had some volume issues, um, so I'm working on those. Don't worry, I'll fix them. Anyway, that's it for this level. Let's go tune in for level 2.